Hello Seafaring community. So today we'll take you out for a walk in this beautiful sunset here somewhere in Manila. With me is Captain Ellie. Hi guys, welcome to Seafaring Mothers. And of course, today we have a special guest. He is a regular contributor at Seafaring Matters. Yeah, and uh, of course, John. Today. Welcome back to Seafaring Matters. Hi, hello. <laughs> <laughs> and today we're going to talk about his recent uh, passing of uh, the licensure exam yeah. administered by Marina. And uh, for sure, he has a lot of tips for you guys how to pass the licensure exam. So let's just go for a walk and uh, listen to what he say. I saw the result of the recent exam. So we have revamped the licensure examination administered by Marina, which is good. Uh -huh. Yep. Um, what do you think, Sorelli? Is it good that they have yeah, I think overhauled it's... the system? Yeah, I think uh, for me it looks good that uh, every seafarers can use that in the uh -huh. future. <laughs> But we will see what John can say about it. Yeah, so if you have heard about the CRP, is it John? CRP? Yes, sir, that's right. The yeah. CRP, the Comprehensive Re Review Portal of Marina. CRP for Comprehensive Review Portal. That is a database of questions in public domain and that is accessible to everybody. All seafarers registered to Marina. That's where you can review. Freely, Marina have introduced the CRP since November of 2021, and it sounds like promising. Yes, but maybe because of the alarming passing rate of Marina lately, it's uh -huh. being uh, um, passed mouth to mouth, you know, information from one seafarer to another. That Marina really in the right now is changing the system, the examination system, uh -huh. from the regular taking and enrolling from a review center to taking the CRP. But yeah, I, but I'm very yeah. proud of you, Jenna, that, huh? that you're oh, one, you. <laughs> one of so much, the Sir successful Eddie. passer of this. So, uh, <laughs> by the way, before we go further, John, congratulations. Thank you, sir, for Thank passing the so exam. <laughs> and I was so surprised to see the result because the passing rate is really, really low. Mm -hmm. It started, when it started, the passing rate was was only 10%. Um, That's combined. I, I guess, yeah. Combined. I, I guess lower than 10%. For lower the, than 10%. During the first day of the uh -huh. uh, for CRP. And I'm really surprised that I see your name there. Thank you, thank you, yeah. thank you so much. <laughs> Marina released your name. So the, the first day when they released the result of the um, exam date, in which they already incorporated the CRP yeah. on the uh, exam system. Yep. It was only the, I guess, less than 10% on the first day. So that's really sad. That's and really it's also long. alarming from my side when I took the exam because I hesitated for a while if I could do it or not. Uh -huh. <laughs> was okay. it the combined operational and management level? Yes, sir. That's already the combined oh. passing rate for both that's operations really low. and management level. So wow. if there were 1,000 1, examinees, only less than 100 of them exactly. will, will, will pass. Yes, sir. Well, I guess. Oh, wow. Well, now, <laughs> Jan, really... can you tell our seafaring community what, is, what are your preparations in uh, taking this marina licensure examination? Okay, so sir, uh, here's what really happened that time. So in December last year, I took a very huge step to, in, um, to schedule myself for an exam. That time, Marina was already launching the system. So when I scheduled my exam in December, CRP guidelines were they were already there. They they told me that I could not uh, I could not schedule my exam date if I would not be able to utilize the CRP. Okay. So that that, that was a, a step that I, I thought um, was not good because the the very first week when they um, tried to incorporate the CRP into the system, they, they made it mandatory. They, they made it mandatory. Uh -huh. So they forced everybody to use the CRP. Mm -hmm. So uh -huh. CRP is mandatory? Mandatory at first. Mandatory. That was mandatory. Yep. And that time I scheduled the exam. I wanted to take the exam in January the next year. That, that was um, this year, 2022. 
So we, we, with that step that they made it mandatory, uh, many seafarers didn't want it because they want the exam right away. They want the exam right away. And they received a lot of um, uh, negative feedbacks from the seafarers that why would they make it, make it mandatory if they could just make it like a, an option for the seafarer to, to choose from if they would utilize it or not. I guess that was early, earlier uh, time in December, first, second week of December, that they made it not non-mandatory for everybody mm -hmm. to utilize the CRP. Okay, so um, so when when I've heard about the news, I skipped the CRP because my, my goal that time when I scheduled the exam was to just go right away for the scheduled date and just take the exam. Uh -huh. I didn't know the effect or the weight of the CRP itself. When I when when I saw the result last January eighth, two mm -hmm. days prior my examination day, okay. that the passing rates were already low. There were there were only like less than ten people passed out of ninety or something like Does that. Does it motivate you to not to uh, do the exam? At some point it did. It did motiv demotivate me to not just take the exam right away because it would be uh, a consequence in my part. I would take again a month after I would take if I pa uh, if I fail to retake or to reset for the examination. For everybody who would like really to take the exam, it's from me, from my personal experience, it's a recommendation to really uh, take time, utilize and make use of the CRP itself. Well, there's nothing that can be taken away from you if you if you would use the CRP because that's for free. That's I like for that. Free. That's I like for free that. from Marina itself. And it's also a positive, you know, side from the marina that they're taking already a step that um, they're making a way for the for everybody who's aspiring to take the theoretical exam uh -huh. to not spend or shell out any money out from their pockets to just pay and uh, enroll for a review center if marina is already giving this for free. Yeah, because this is a long time uh, problem with our seafarers and how to take the exam. Yeah. They have to spend money, they have to uh, uh, spend, uh, pay for the review center and uh, a, lot, a lot more. So exactly. this is now a very good move from Marina, I guess. I guess it's a very, very good move okay. from the Marina. <laughs> so you enrolled in a review center. At the same time, you are also having access to the CRP. Yes sir, that's right. I enrolled in one of the, I guess, famous review centers here in the Philippines. Okay. And I paid really also a, well, a, a, a sum of money for the review uh, materials that I could use prior to taking the exam. Well, um, to, for the benefit of the viewers, um, sum of money, uh, how much exactly are we paying? Uh, when I saw their advertisement on Facebook, um, I took that for like 8888. That's their promo price. So maybe 9000. 9000. 9000. But 9000 is still 9000, right? Yes, 9k is still 9k. Okay. <laughs> and if you are really tight on your budget, 9k is already a big sum of money. For, uh, uh, for the person who are going to take the OIC. Yes. Yes. It's really a big challenge for you to spend nine thousand alone for the review center, right? Yes, sir. And I, and I've heard that some of the review centers as well. If you you'd be um, checking on the other review centers, they are asking it for more than like ten thousand, eleven, twelve thousand. Okay. So the the price varies from one set review centers to another. Now, Mr. Jan, can you can you uh, see the difference when you are reading the review materials of the training center compared to the one that Marina has. Is there any difference? Do you, do you find any uh, something different when, when you check their uh, questionnaires? Okay. So when I enrolled in this review center, every competency they would give and throw 500 questions and average for every competency. Oh, that, that is a and lot. There are 12 competencies, so that's 12 times 500. 500. That's a lot of uh -huh. questions to read. Oh. Right? And when I took the exam, I guess none of those questions came out from the review materials that I read. None of the questions really came out. And that was a struggle from me mm -hmm. when I took the exam. Because it, it was really hard. I, I was, it was difficult to, to
to not read that question in advance and to just answer it on that, at that moment. Maybe if I'm answering questions for me, if I read uh, after 30, I already fall asleep. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So, so that doesn't make same, sense. Same. same. <laughs> when I would see on my review portal from that review center material, 500 questions on top, one out of 500, I would already fall asleep. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah, that's okay, great. That's, I'm sorry to interrupt. <laughs> so are you saying that um, after paying almost 9,000 pesos, 9,000 pesos, mm -hmm. nothing came out from the materials they gave you? Exactly, that's right. I so, got affirmed on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so in that case, what is now the relevance of these review centers? Okay, well, coming from a personal experience, uh, I guess review centers are now really irrelevant in taking the exam. I would say that with emphasis because it happened to me when I took the exam, when I checked on the questions, none of those questions that I read out from that 500 times 12 pumpkin, nothing came out. So, why would at the first place, why would I pay 9,000 if none of those questions really came out, right? You are just like paying for nothing. Oh, exactly. right. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So if somebody would ask me now if they, if they were given an option to pay and enroll for a review center or to just utilize and make use of the uh, CRP of Madina for free, then I would just go for free. Well, that's for free. As I said earlier, there's nothing to be taken away from you if you would utilize and make use of it. That's for free. That's a very good move from the marina that they're making for free to, than just to shell out and pay a sum of money for a view center in which they would just be giving you nothing. No questions at all that, do, that would come out when they exam. Okay, now can you give a tip uh, to our uh, seafaring community? Uh, what did you do? To prepare, so to, prepare to prepare for the uh, exam and utilizing that uh, marina uh, CRB to uh, did you pass the uh, very challenging exam? <laughs> so, uh, I think be before you before you answer that question, uh, a follow up to that. Since nothing came out from the materials that was given to you by the review the review center, were there something that came out? Uh, the ones that you get from uh, the CRP? If I would put it in a percentage, maybe 80 to 90% from the materials that I read on CRP came out, really. Uh -huh. And that helped me. And that helped me. Oh, that's really a good. Uh, that's, good. that's good then. That's good. Well, <laughs> in that case, we don't need the review centers at this time anymore. I guess, sir. And we would put an emphasis on that. That I guess we're not. We don't anymore need the review center. And the marina portal is totally free. And that's for free. That's for free. And all you have to do is put on your time, go there in front of your computer, log into the portal, and spend some time to read. Yes. And maybe some of the viewers right now would be asking how do we um, log in to the portal? Maybe I would be giving sure. some, some care. Yeah, that's good. So prior to um, logging into the portal, you need to have first the online evaluation from Arena. So you need first to submit the requirements, your TOR, and some other requirements that are on your Mismo account. So once it's online evaluated, right there and then you will be given the website to where you will be uh, routed to. That's for the CRP um, review website, uh -huh, the, portal. The, the portal itself. On your email as well, they will be giving you the logins for the day, the, the, the password for the day. That's um, a move, I guess, from them to, um, to change it daily on a daily basis mm -hmm. so that, um, well, maybe IT-related concerns. Mm -hmm. And once you have that daily password, you can right away um, log in to your CRP. How many hours you can use this day-to-day uh, -day, uh, login? You okay. can use this for 24 hours or just only you 4 can, hours or you can use 8 hours? Um, for that, Mr. Ali, uh, you can use it for 24 hours. If you decide to use it it's for straight you. 24 oh, hours, okay. it's, it's up to you. It's up to you. If you want to have the full guidelines on how to use the CRP, you can check the link below 
Now, Chad, if I'm going to take the exam, you say the exam for the board. What advice can you give to me? What advice? Okay. So going back, from, going back to what Marina has said, um, CRP it enhances your knowledge, it saves you time, it saves you money. Let's just choose it. Let's just choose it. And we have to take part in that that they're making so that we can have this the um, this this culture to have you know to have and to have integrity in it and to produce as well competent officers so, so the the tip that I could um, give to you is that we just have to utilize it we have to take time on reading because that's how we can pass the exam that's how we can pass the exam um, we don't have pay any more money for the review centers to just pass the exam it's readily available it's available for free we just really have to take time reading and analyzing and learning from the question itself because from my personal experience as well i learned a lot from the question it made me um, it made me it, it was somewhat like a refreshment for me well, i was refreshed from the questions that i that, that, I, that I was able to read and Enhanced knowledge, I guess it's also a good move for the marina that they were able to um, categorize the questions into two. The so-called LODS or the low order thinking order skills. Thinking skills. Oh, yes, yeah. and it's HODS true, yeah. or HUDS, the high order okay. thinking skills. So they put a certain point for the specific question, whichever is for the low order thinking skill. Mm -hmm. And for whichever question is for high or your thinking skills. Okay, so and that's really good. Yeah. Okay. Really good. So, what a beautiful weekend has it been, right? So, I just came from work and I contacted John to meet them uh, with Captain Ellie uh, this afternoon to have a uh, chat. Guys, this is our first uh, uh, interview, uh, video interview. Yeah, this is our very first interview <laughs> yeah. content at Seafaring Matters. <laughs> we're in the, we, we just walk and have a casual talk. Yeah, right? casual talk. And I think we're going to do more of this soon. Mm -hmm. Right, Torelli? Mm -hmm. To continue with, uh, with the interview with John. Um, I think the most important questions that should be asked for someone who is taking the exam soon has been answered. Mm -hmm. Haven't we? And if you have any questions, guys, you can always um, comment down below, and we would be willing to answer all the questions for you. Of course. How does it feel, Jan, now that you gave also motivation to other people? Well, it's 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 kind of like it's it's really a good feeling, you know, to give inspiration to everybody who 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 I was once on their shoes. Mm -hmm. I was once. Um, there, sitting, reading questions, having hesitations in my mind if I could pass or not. But yeah, here I am. I already passed the exam and on my way to taking my and getting my license. And it should be you as well. Soon, you should be uh, taking these steps as well as I as, as I took, so that in no less than maybe one month or two you would be having your license as well. And uh, by the way, here in the Philippines, to get a license, you will have to go through two phases of the exam. The theoretical part, which John had just passed. Right, John? And uh, the next phase will be the practical exam. Practical and exam. when are you taking those? I already took as well. I already yeah. passed as well the theoretical <laughs> and the oh, practical God. exam. Yeah. This is called really for a <laughs> celebration for us. <laughs> so, so for the benefit of our viewers, the seafaring community, which one is harder to pass? Is it the practical or the theoretical part? Um, for the theoretical exam, if you had just read all the questions or most of the questions that are in the CRP, mm -hmm. A major part of your success is there. It's already there. There's a big chance of you passing the exam. Mm -hmm. Well, on the uh, practical, practical side, well, that's practical. So that's more on hands-on. Mm -hmm. So if you know how to 
plot for the for your fix using the celestial way you would be able to pass the practical exam if you know how to steer the vessel and how to uh, make a successful and a what do you call this efficient voyage plan then you mm -hmm. could um, pass the practical yeah. exam I guess the training that I had in my company in our company mm -hmm. That's really a big aspect. That's a big um, help for you. Help for me to pass the practical exam because the trainings that we have in our company. That's it. I guess the trainings that we have in in our company is 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 harder or more difficult than we have on the practical assessment center that I took in. But uh, for example, if for the other guys or the different community. Uh, who would like to take the practical examination and do the tablet kind of training as what you have what kind of uh, advice do you give uh, to them? Do they need another set of review yeah. before taking the practical exam? Yes, um, for someone who would be getting and taking the practical exam no need for you to take the, uh, to take any reviews from any centers of work well, from the word itself, practical, that's hands-on. That's really your skills. Uh -huh. So you, you just have to practice on how to plot this and that, and how to um, how to have a, a good voyage plan. And yeah, that's it. There's no need for you to enroll. And I guess there's there's no review center offering for that for, for that practical exam. But prior to the practical examination, they give you also time to familiarize with the equipment, right? Yes, yes. There is a day allotted for you to familiarize oh, okay. and yeah, be uh, be ready on how to handle that kind of equipment. Mm -hmm. well, that's good. That, that's good. That's good. So your practical exam, there there that's composed of two days. There are two days for you to take the the practical. Mm -hmm. First day. Fa is familiarization day. Second day is the actual practical exam. And on the practical exam, um, the things that you would be doing are the things that you have been uh, taught on the first day. Okay. So, so for the <laughs> benefits of our seafaring mothers community, how much do you spend for the practical examination? Uh, for the practical for exam, the, I spent 5,000. 5,000 5, for, for the practical exam. exam. Mm -hmm. All right. So, total time you have spent so how long have you completed all of them um, okay so for the review I took maybe two weeks for the review and in, on January 10 I took the exam on January 12 I took the practical exam or 12 and 13 I took the practical exam and next week I will be taking again another exam that's for GOC mm -hmm. And after I pass the GOC exam, I will be taking again the practical exam for GOC. Mm -hmm. And once everything is done, then I'll be getting my license for the COC day. Alright, so you really have to invest time here. Yeah. And money, at least we have reduced it because we don't need to pay for a review center anymore. And again, congratulations for passing the exam. Thank you so much. Out of how many of you? Out of 73, we were 73 when we took the exam. That's only for the operational level? That's for both management both. and yep. operational level. And how many of you passed? And only 9 of us passed. Okay, out of 73 guys, only 9 of them made it. Yes. And that's a huge, huge achievement already. Yes. Well, I guess that calls for... A nice dinner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. And both of these captains will be treating me for a dinner. But okay. yeah. yeah, well, it's it's <laughs> really, really looking really forward. Tea. To that. We will do that also for you if you have. Yeah. Uh, if, let just let us. Well, this is only the start, run. <laughs> If you will pass your your management level soon, then it's another it's treat. Your, your, your <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would be contacting you both. Yeah, your turn. Yeah, yeah. I, it, it will be my turn yeah. to, to treat you both. Well, I will be just maybe accumulating 12 months for my OIC experience so that I could right away file for my uh, maybe chief mate license. All right. So I'm so glad, John, that you shared your experience and. I'm so glad that Marina did something to change the system to end uh, some sort of useless 
review center the seafarers will will pay before they can take the exam so now they can take the review for free and of course that is already a huge move from the marina and i hope they will stick to the promise and i hope they will not be elevate tempted yeah. yep. so bye guys and bon appetit